I've been really, really depressed this week. I've been trying not to show it. It's kind of why I've been a bit desperate to find anything I can for enjoyment. Uh, I've talked about my brother before. Now, he doesn't really have any respect for my mother at all. He expects money to do anything for her. He... If he was actually involved in politics, he would for sure be one of the nasty types of MRAs. He's, he's so misogynistic, he's, he's... He and I can get along at times, if we're, we plan on doing something like, you know, some sort of trail walk or something like that, we can get along, but he's homophobic, he has these narrow ideas of what it is to be a man, he thinks that um, someone will think he's gay if he pushes a shopping cart. Uh, <laughs> there's just a whole bunch of stuff. He is the most paranoid person I know. The last time he was staying here and was upstairs, he would look out the upstairs window towards, there's some businesses off, off in that direction and there were some, I don't know, there were some teenagers or people in their young 20s doing something over there, making some noise, and he was scared that they were going to judge him on, on something he was doing as if they're what they're gonna look look take some binoculars and look look in through the window and see this thing through this tiny window at what he's doing. It's just 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 wow, dude. I mean, wow. I mean, the guy is paranoid. I mean, paranoid. He's been diagnosed as being borderline schizophrenic. He's got some issues. Um. <laughs> And but he's moving in here in a week. He's moving into this house in a week. My mother can't afford to keep putting out money to or to him because he's trying to live somewhere that he can't actually afford living, and then she makes up for the rest of it. She's been paying like two hundred and fifty a month somewhere between 200 and 250 a month out to him for him to stay where he's been been staying and he never seems to show any thankfulness for what she does in that regard he continually acts like she's some sort of bottomless pit for money constantly asking her for money for this money for that um Oh, I don't like these home rolled cigarettes. Can you can you buy me a, a, another carton? Can you give me gas money so I can meet up with this person? And then he's never grateful for whenever she does any of that. I'm going to be moving upstairs. They're small rooms. I'll have multiple rooms. I'll basically have the upstairs. There's sort of advantages to that, but um, if he, it, it, she wouldn't mind him being upstairs smoking cigarettes, but he's like, I don't want the upstairs. I don't want the upstairs. 
Why should I pay? Why should I pay that much money to be upstairs? <laughs> and then he's having some physical problems. He can't really do stairs very much. So okay, fine, fine, Dale. You can you can have the really big room downstairs, the one that's next door, the one I was originally going to be moving into, the one with that the chimney, the back side of the chimney you see in the background on a lot of my older videos. Yeah, he'll, he'll be moving into that room under the premise that he cannot smoke cigarettes in that room. Um, we're going to maybe try to see if we can get him into vaping or something for the times that he would like to do something like smoking, but be, you know, in that room. And if he is caught at all, or it seems like he is smoking down there, then it's time for him to go back upstairs, and then he'll be all pissy. And I'm I'm sure there's going to be this. I'm I I can't even imagine him lasting two months without trying to smoke downstairs. It's her rules. It's her house. She doesn't want cigarettes in the house. The upstairs she can handle that way because it's the, the upstairs doesn't look very good. Um, it's. And when it's upstairs, it doesn't affect any of the rest of the house. If he smokes in the room downstairs, it's a guarantee the rest of the house is going to stink. You can try to close that door, but if you open it even for a couple moments, bam, the cigarette smell will come right into the rest of the house. You know, she, she's just like, no, she's not down. Also, you know, there's some good carpet in there, and she doesn't want to have to have it cleaned multiple times and spend hundreds of dollars doing that um, you know once he leaves uh, it's and then have to repaint the walls and all that sort of thing that comes with someone who smokes the upstairs you know he when he's been upstairs before he keeps the fans going 24 7 and uh, the carpets that are there are like these carpet remnants instead of, you know, expensive carpet. And, uh, you know, it's not a, it's not a big thing. Um, oh my God, he, he go, he, about smells, he's, he's like 10 times worse than I ever was. Um, it's the main reason why he's ever moved from any apartment that he's been in. Oh, the smells. I can smell the smell from the neighbor. I can smell the smell from this. I can smell the smell that's outside and, and I'm in the city and da 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 and the smells. What's always been so ironic about him complaining about smelling some of the smells from the neighbors uh, that come through their window when they're doing whatever, he doesn't think at all about how you know, people don't want to smell uh, cigarettes when they open their windows, but you know, oh, it's cigarettes, it's different. Well, when he's up, when he's, you know, and, and he'll talk about being allergic and all this stuff, but when he's here, it's like, uh, oh, I can, and he's, he's upstairs, I can smell the smell from you cooking in the kitchen. I can smell the food being cooked in the kitchen, and it keeps me up, and it'll make my eyes water, and blah, 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 fucking meh. It's just, it's just like, Jesus Christ. That's actually one of the that's actually the main reason why he wants to be downstairs. So he doesn't have to smell any cooking. So, you know, I I I just I just can't see him lasting uh with uh not smoking cigarettes in his room. You know, he says, "Oh, he'll he'll handle it. He'll he'll go outside to smoke." And I'm just like, "Yeah, how long is that going to last?" I'm betting he thinks we're going to uh, back down from our position. Well, see, I did this at this point and you didn't notice, or something like that. And then give a bunch of guilt trips and all that. He's not very pleasant to live around. Um, it's like he's offended if you just say hi. It's it's just it's it's it sucks, uh, but my mother needs the money, and uh, she can't continue to be putting out money. So, uh, 
So yeah, I'm 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 not looking forward to that at all. At all. Neither is my mother. But you can do what you got to do. Uh, we're going to make sure that he actually puts in the applications for these low-income places that are here in Tacoma. So, uh, you know, eight months down the line, he can uh, move into one of those and not be here. So anyway, 